Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany. How are you? We're doing, um, sorry. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany. Uh, I do fiber arts, kind of knitting, crocheting, any type of anything, challenges, vlogs on this channel. Today we're going to be talking about my shop opening, kind of the things that I'm doing. I'm going to talk to you guys about like what I plan on selling, kind of how I decided the prices, how I'm going to ship them, and all that fun stuff. I always love showing you guys like behind the scenes of what I'm doing, so if this can help you guys in any sort of way, if you're trying to start your own small business, then I hope that it can. So, uh, also, I'm not bald. The lighting just does me dirty. Okay, I get that my forehead is is ginormous. But anyway, I just thought it'd be a fun video to show, and yeah, let's get on with the video. Number one, number one, um, okay. Number one is packaging. So something that I've been like really trying to focus on is eco packaging or eco conscious packaging. By no means am I an expert. I'm like literally just starting off um, and I'm still trying to figure out things on the way. So if you guys have any tips and tricks for me, please let me know in the comments because I know it would help me and everyone else out. Um, yeah, so number one is packaging. I loved Lee Ellickson's video. I just follow a bunch of like artists on YouTube, but she did a video on how to do eco packaging and I really learned a lot from it. Um, if only I had eco enclosed here, uh, that would be what I would be using all the time, but I'm in Canada, so it's literally impossible and the shipping is crazy and the customs are crazy. As of right now, the plan is, is to use recycled material. So that's kind of just, I'm going to use or reuse um, a bunch of packaging that I got uh, from things that I ordered online, just so I can like reuse the packaging and it can go into use instead of kind of just being thrown away or recycled, especially like a lot of like my plastic mailers, I would love to reuse them. So if your packaging isn't as cute as you'd want it to be, if it gets to you, I'm so sorry, but that's just how I'm gonna do it for now. And then hopefully I can get some mailers in the future. And so hopefully I can like package it cuter on the inside and you'll ignore everything on the outside. So second thing I wanted to talk about were shipping labels and stickers. If I was gonna use it for packaging, I wanted to make sure that it was something that was relatively eco-friendly, cost-efficient, and um, time-efficient, I guess, like something that was like quick and easy if I had to like make a lot of stickers and stuff like that. And I have no idea how to use like a Cricut like sticker cutter and like getting like a really fancy printer with like ink and stuff. And so thank you so much Munbin for sending me their thermal printer. I had no idea what thermal printers were, but essentially it's like, it's, it's, it's essentially like a really small printer that uses heat that uses heat on a specific type of paper and so it doesn't require any ink it's super fast it's like crazy it's like such a interesting concept and um it's like relatively like it's like way cheaper because you don't have to buy ink all the time so um this is their thermal printer it is the cutest thing you've ever seen I mean, um, I'm definitely gonna add stickers to it, <laughs> like Loki, by, funny enough, Lee Ellickson. I, I got a couple of her stickers and so I, I'm thinking of like putting them on. On and I think it would just match perfectly with the pink. <laughs> I really like it because it's so, like it's so lightweight, portable, very easy, something that you can have if you have like a small business at home. You can just attach to your computer and start printing right away. All you have to do is plug this into your computer and download a software, which was also super easy. Uh, and then you just print right away. It was over, it was like ridiculous how fast it printed. There are different types of stickers you can get. I actually got the rounded sticker um, in white as well as the shipping label stickers that they kindly sent me. And so I can just use these and um, yeah, so I can just create shipping labels and then print them on here and then put them onto like packages and stuff. You can also use like the shipping labels and kind of make them into your own stickers. Like for the amount of them and for the price, it's so affordable in my opinion. Yeah, so I did a tester just to see how it worked and I made these stickers, which I'm like dumbfounded how I even, even made these, um, but they look like this. I made these stickers on, so this is one shipping label and I'm planning on cutting each of them Kind of like slicing them and using them as just like normal stickers. I really like the idea of a thermal printer because there's just so many endless options you can do. Yeah, the plan is is to kind of print my logo on the stickers.
three are the items I'm selling. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of show you guys the pieces that I'm planning on putting up. There won't be any patterns yet because I'm still testing uh, the typical tank and I just sent out test forms for the typical slipover and the boyfriend slipover, which are both separate. So um, if you want to do both of them, then you have to apply to both of them. But I do think that applying to both of them will be hard because I'm planning on putting them out at the same time. So you only have a month to do both of them. So um, I did them in, in a month, but again, I'm a crazy knitter. Um, I'm planning on selling this guy. He, she is my beautiful, beautiful, um, uh, my beautiful marshmallow cardigan. I just don't get enough wear out of it and I think someone could easily love this way more than um, I currently do. Um, another piece, my beloved, the cable vest. I'm going to be putting up I just it's a beautiful color but I don't wear it quite enough and I really want to revamp this um, this pattern and have multiple sizes like this this size would be the extra small <laughs> and then planning on making like bigger sizes and like having it like oversized I think it would be really fun to make an oversized version of this um, and in better quality like a mohair and like uh, maybe a DK weight I think would be perfect for this guy um, and I have a pattern and I think that's so fun that I can use my patterns and like make it again and make it better so um, hopefully this guy can have a loving home um, and live well live very well without me <laughs> um, another beautiful piece um, I'm putting up is the Kendall Jenner inspired cardigan and bandeau top. I'm gonna sell it in a set. I think I'm planning on doing a lot of sets. Like I have the, um, shoot, I have the arm warmer and bandeau set. I think would be adorable to sell together. Um, and they all come with beautiful little labels that I got, which is really exciting. And then I'm planning on adding extra or like not labels or like tags to these just so you guys know how to take care of them yeah so that's just a couple of them um obviously there's going to be way more yeah and i'm think and i'm also planning on maybe selling some acrylic we'll see um i, I also have some extra uh, hobby yarn that's kind of just sitting around that needs loving so um I hope, hopefully you guys can enjoy those too fourth i guess cards and like fun little trinkets like that so for um, all the things that I send physically, I want to have like a business card, either a business card and a thank you card, either both of them or just one. I'm not too sure yet. Um, and then I want to add tags to all of my physical pieces just so you guys know how to take care of them because um, some things are acrylic, some things are wool. And so you need to know whether you like should hand wash them and all that stuff. And it's a whole mess <laughs> of things. Yeah. So then just like other miscellaneous things, like I need to figure out how to do the stickers um, no, I got to figure out, uh, which stickers to get and adding more stickers. And then I also want to sell some of the tags. So if you guys want to use my tags, you like, if you want to use my tags for some of your pieces, you guys can use that too. And so I would love to put it in like an envelope. And so I feel like I would need to include a thank you card in it. So it just have kind of like a base. Um, yeah, so for like tags and stuff and like business cards, I actually just got cardstock paper. I can't imagine myself getting a lot of orders currently just because I'm not selling a lot, but hope. Um, I actually got cardstock paper um, just because I find that business cards can be quite expensive to ship it to you kind of pre-made and stuff. Uh, same with like tags, um, same with like tags and all that stuff. So I thought it'd just be more cost efficient to kind of get cardstock paper, print it on a printer that my dad has, and then cut them out physically. So I actually have like... <laughs> I have like a paper cutter that I got. I got a punch hole and I actually got some twine. I can tie um, each of the tags to each of the pieces. Um, fourth, four, fourth thing to talk about, I guess, is online platforms. I've been having such a weird struggle with trying to figure out like what plat platform would be best for me. Um, I have been like doing crazy research on it just like trying to do trials and things and initially i was going to go with webflow so webflow is this nice website that kind of um 
the Webflow. Uh, I use Webflow for my portfolio for UX design and I thought I could do it for an e-commerce business, but after like fiddling with it for way too long, it just took up way too much time just trying to customize it. Um, and I find that Webflow doesn't really focus on the e-commerce side of things. It's more on trying to, um, it's more about letting you be able to design stuff without having to code. And so I was spending a lot of time just customizing it, but not really focusing on the business end. So um, I got a lot of feedback from you guys telling me like Shopify, Squarespace, there's like Big Cartel, people were saying Big Cartel was really good. Um, but I ended up going with Shopify. I just think Shopify would be really good. I, I, I've just seen a lot of um, other designers use Shopify and I think it'd be an interesting um, platform to learn and I just find that the benefits just are better and safer and I just want to make sure that everything goes out smoothly because I don't even I don't even want to worry about tax I'm like so worried about tax like no one talk to me about that please because I'm gonna be so worried um, so this is either step six or seven, not too sure, but I just wanted to show how I uh, took pictures of my uh, product images. So I just used my phone really easy uh, with some good lighting and then I used Procreate on my iPad. You can use Photoshop, but I know how expensive Photoshop can be. So uh, I just used the Procreate, outlined the images with color fill um, and it was that easy. <laughs> I don't have an outro, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was kind of giving you guys an insight on how I did stuff, but uh, hopefully I can improve and keep learning as I go. Um, and yeah, catch me on Instagram, Discord. Um, I post kind of regularly on YouTube sometimes, and we stream on Twitch, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!